Hi everyone, today I'm going to review this Fude Nip fountain pen that's sold by Streets Art, a local art shop here in Singapore. This is priced at 15 Singapore dollars, which is very affordable. Unfortunately, Streets Art, they don't ship overseas, so people who can buy this are probably going to be those who are in Singapore. A Fude nib, in case you don't know, is actually a bent nib that's designed for writing Asian calligraphy. But it can also be used for drawing because it's quite a versatile nib. You can produce thin lines by drawing with the tip and you can produce very thick lines by drawing with the bent area there. I'll show you later on. The whole pen is made of plastic except for the metal nib and the pen clip here. So this pen cap is the screw-on type and this pen is only available in this color, the transparent demonstrator um, version. Let me just unscrew this part. Now this whole body here it's the ink converter and notice there is no refueling mechanism built into the body this pen is sold with this eyedropper made with like really cheap plastic to help you refill the ink this pen can be dismantled very easily for cleaning you just have to twist the nib and the feet together and pull them out so that's the plastic feet and this is the grip section this is the back of the body so this is very smooth this part here it looks like some sort of um, silicone grease that's applied to prevent the ink from flowing out and this black part here that's the stopper so when you put the grip section back you can see this part here it will come into contact with the black stopper to form a seal so the ink can only flow through the black stopper to the feet okay let's refill the pen i'm going to use my blunt needle and syringe to refill the ink rather than using that plastic eyedropper because it's easier one thing I like about this design is it can hold a lot of ink. I think this is probably four to five times more ink compared to my usual Fude Nip fountain pens. Since this pen can hold so much ink, this is a fantastic pen to bring along to sketch on overseas trips. The black part inside it's some sort of rubber so when I try to screw this tight I can feel the resistance okay so now it's tight let's see how the ink flows into the grip section let me help it along the feet is translucent so I can see some ink between the nib and the feet design on top of the pen nib looks like this with words genius iridium germany the silicone grease and the rubber stopper seem to be doing a good job at preventing the ink from leaking you can get different types of lines depending on how you hold a pen so to get thin lines you just have to draw with the pen tip ink flow is quite good to get thicker lines you just have to tilt the pen downwards and now you can get thick lines very easily you can get thin and thick lines in a single stroke as well if you want really thin lines you can turn the pen nib upside down and draw like this but the ink flow is not as great so you have to draw really slowly so these are the lines you can create with just one single nib. That's why this pen nib is so versatile. Let me draw something really quickly. Fude nib is one of my favorite pen nibs to use for drawing because you can create 
very expressive lines really easily and you don't have to make a conscious effort to create those expressive lines because um, the lines the thickness of the lines will vary depending on how you hold a pen and when you are drawing the pen the way you hold your pen is always changing not drastically um, it's always changing bit by bit so that's how you can get those um, expressive lines my favorite fountain pen for drawing is the pelican m200 with a fine nib my second favorite fountain pen to use for drawing would be a fountain pen with fude nib if you do want to draw thicker lines you can make a conscious effort to do so just tilt the pen slightly and have the broad area of the pen nib be in contact with the paper and you can get a much thicker line a noticeably thicker line so that's why this pen it's so versatile to use for drawing the pen uses a lot of ink because it can put out a lot of ink and the ink will take some time to dry so if you are using this pen together with watercolor you need to make sure that the ink is dried properly before you apply watercolor and because this pen uses a lot of ink it's great that this pen this particular pen can hold a lot of ink so you don't have to constantly reload the pen and this will be extremely convenient when you are sketching outdoors so for the front of this vehicle i can use the broad strokes to draw this very thick horizontal lines you can also use this to cover like large areas of black but it will take some time to uh, do that let's create some hatching lines ink flow is quite good because the whole pen is made of plastic it does feel plasticky but i don't actually have any problem with um, it being plasticky because the upside here is it's very lightweight it feels like you're drawing with a pencil so for 15 singapore dollars or around 12 us dollars this is definitely worth the money one significant downside to this pen is if you want to remove the grip section when there is still ink in it like what i'm doing right now the ink that is in the grip section here it's going to flow back into the body and if for some reason you want to put this back it's going to push the ink out which is why my hands are so dirty right now so if you want to open this without the ink spilling out um, maybe use up the ink first or have tissue around because the ink will spill out unfortunately as mentioned earlier straits art does not ship internationally anyway if you want to get a full day nib fountain pen to draw i can recommend you an alternative this is the duke 209 fountain pen with a food in it and this is priced around 10 to 15 us dollars with shipping included you can find this pen on ebay there are two colors for this pen this silver one and the black one the silver one has a very slippery body i've used sandpaper to sand the body but it still feels quite slippery so maybe get the pen that is black if you guys want to check out more art product reviews just visit the youtube playlist that i have for you in the video description below thanks for watching i hope this video is helpful see you again bye